Sardinia. Sardinia. I mean, this is this is not normal life. This, this is we're talking about for most people a paradise, right? That's right. But people know natives. it as a paradise. But there are natives. There are natives who have struggled for many, many years. Yeah. Life is not easy there. It's not all yachts and homes. No, that's you right. Know? And, and that's a reality. Yeah. Yeah. And this wine. Everyone carries a knife. Yep. Everyone knows how to cut their fruit and cheese with that knife. Yep. They also know how to make great wines. Yeah. They know how to spend time at the table. Yep. That's the beauty of Sardinia. Yeah, a, a place so famous for being, you know, although amazing, extremely ostentatious and overwhelming, and yet at the core, has is this whole community of people, of, of hundreds of thousands of people probably, that are drinking really simple wine and eating fresh seafood. And I think that this wine kind of summarizes that. It's really true to, I think, what Sardinia for locals might be. It's a Sardinia many of us will never know. Yeah, but it's this—it's the real it's Sardinia. The real Sardinia. Cheers to that. You need—you need to fill up your glass. <laughs> what is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday, and welcome to Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are Rolly from Theo and Harris. It is a beautiful day. Uh, I'm ready to drink some refreshing wine. I hope this wine is refreshing. The weather's changed. Yep. It's getting warmer. Flowers are, are blooming. Yeah. It's time for some and, serious and light wine. today's El Clasico. And today is El Clásico. We're recording this on Sunday. And it's, it's, a, it's right. right now. It's, it's Real Madrid contra Barcelona. Barça. So Real Madrid, Hala Madrid for all That's you people right. out there who are uh, Madridistas. Anyway, uh, quick wristwatch check. Daddy-o? I'm wearing the uh, Breitling Navitimer. Navi cool. Outfit. I love this watch. Yeah. Yep. I love that black. It's a real pilot's right? watch. Seriously. 1952. Yeah. Beautiful came watch. Out. This watch was actually listed for sale in the Theo and Harris watch shop yesterday. So uh, I don't know if it got sold. If it was sold. I mean, yesterday on Friday. Right now it's next Thursday. So uh, it's it's an incredible piece. It's Actually new... owned by and made for King Hussein of Jordan. No kidding. Yeah, seriously. seriously. It's a beautiful seriously. watch. And his son is the king now. I'm wearing a Rolex 1601 uh, on its Jubilee bracelet. Uh, we were playing a little soccer before, so I wanted to wear a sports watch. So, so I mean, it's about as sporty as watches get for me. So, uh, really beautiful piece, uh, wide boy dial and matching hands. So uh, that's it. Let's get into uh, let's get into today's episode. So today we're gonna take a, a quick little jump to Sardinia, the yeah. island of Sardinia, which is Italy, which is part of Italy. It's yeah. 190 miles west of the Italian mainland on the western side uh, of uh, western side of Italy. But it's almost Central another Italy. world, right? They, in a lot of ways. In many ways, they do speak Italian, yeah. but quite frankly, they've only spoken Italian for the past 30, 40 years. What were they speaking? They, their own tongue. I, tongue. I don't know, the native wow. tongue. So they they are there are definitely some Spanish influences in Sardinia oh. as well. I, I think you can see that in the food, but they have a very neat culture. Okay, I hear it's like paradise. It's supposed to be beautiful. Once you, Norvai, yeah. uh, 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 most people know about the Costa Smeralda, which is where all the you know guys wear the banana hammocks and uh, and, they, the banana. and yeah, and they're, they're with their you know with their uh, with their girlfriends the taking gumans. photos. But there's a whole world to Sardinia, yeah. And um, this wine is definitely through and through Sardinian. All right, cool. What is the grape we're talking about? Vermentino. So we had it before. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, let's uh, let's open it up. I mean, let's 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 do it, right? Yeah. So let's uh, let's pour this sucker. Cool. Let's do it. All right. There you go. Beautiful. Very beautiful color. Very pale and very pale. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll start with the color, and you can tell very pale color. Yeah. So. Several weeks ago, we did a Vermentino from the Cinque Terre, from that area. Right. Okay. And uh, but 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 uh, Vermentino really is is through and through Sardinian, and um, this this wine uh, should be a little racy. But let, let's uh, let's give it a little smell. Give it a smell. Very distinct nose on this wine. What are you getting? Uh, um, very pronounced citrus uh, citrus notes. Okay. Uh, lemony like. Rind, but but you know it, it, there's this citrus going on in yeah, this yeah, wine. Yeah. Okay, so you think it should be a very refreshing kind of crisp wine then. I think it's going to be pretty crisp. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. That's delicious. Oh boy! Wow. Mmm. That's delicious. 
So it has it has wow, it has that rind though, doesn't it? It doesn't it? It, it yeah. has like the rind, almost like a, a bitterness. bitterness. If you guys, yep. ha- when you're eating an orange yep. and you're pulling off and you have a little makes bit it of that better bit, though, but it gives it that yeah. nice dimension. Balance, yeah, the dimension, yeah. This wine is fantastic for seafood. Let's cut right to the chase. This wine is awesome for seafood. Oh yeah, some fish espada. The beautiful, that's right, right? exactly. And, um, some sword beautiful fish. swordfish. Yep. Um, a little bit of olive oil and try something like this and you're complimenting and you're cutting absolutely and really beautiful absolutely now uh sardinia you know the people in sardinia are, are because it's an island but it's also very rugged terrain yeah they they do eat a lot of a lot of lamb okay. they eat a lot of goat but they also eat a lot of fish okay so their diet is, is a combination of both all the time wow okay so they they'll drink a lot of whites because they are really they're close to the to the sea. Well, yeah, it's, but, it's an but, island. But they, but they have access to such wonderful meat because it is big. I mean, it's you know, very it's big. Not, it's not just like an ocean town. No. I mean, it's a large no. island. It's a large so, island, right? So yeah. you're getting a you know, the the dichotomy there. You're getting mm-hmm. both this you know crazy crazy seafood as well as. I mean, real, real, you know, almost, almost like mainland Italian food. Not, not in the same way as I was prepared. But yeah. In the same kind of, uh, um, you know, ingredients and yes. things like that. Yeah, they, 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 they'll, they'll rely a lot on, on, uh, on mushrooms. Yep. Uh, that they'll forage. Uh, obviously, as I mentioned, a lot of, a lot of lamb, a lot of goat. They've got an interesting diet. They also have some really interesting traditions. They've got this wonderful bread that they do. It's called pane caresao. Okay, what is And it? these old ladies make the bread, and uh, the bread just puffs up, and it turns into these l- very, very thin layers. And they, they'll they put cheese, homemade cheese, and jams on it, and, okay. and you just have that. And, and you have, of course, you're drinking wine. Yeah. Because they drink a lot of wine. So... The other thing that you guys need to know about, Ariolas, um, is a big producer, if not the biggest producer in Sardinia, okay. which means that you'll be able to get this wine in your local shop. That's awesome. And if not, ask for it, because um, this is the simple entry of Vermentino, right. but they've got some outstanding bottles. And if you really get into wines from this area, if you try the reds, uh, they're known for their the the principal grape or the the native grape of, of Sardinia. It's Cano okay. It's a red grape, okay. and they make a hell of a wine called Corem. Okay. K O R E M. But that's for another episode. Sure, sure, that's sure. a top notch, top level wine. How much wine. was this bottle? This this bottle was. Uh, eleven dollars. So eleven bucks. We're getting into the summertime, right? Yeah. And uh, if we're gonna have some seafood, maybe on the grill or mm. something like that. Like I said, I think you put it perfectly. The fact that it has that rind, that little bit of bitterness. It's not overwhelming, but that little bitterness adds tremendously to make that sweetness and citrus just deep. You know, it makes it really flavorful as opposed to just, oh, that's tasty. You know, so I, I really enjoyed this wine. Thank you for showing it to me. This is a delicious wine. It's called, again, was it Costa the Molino? Costa Molino by Argiolas. Yeah. And it's Vermentino di Sardegna. 11 bucks. You Give will shot, not guys. go wrong. Go out, find it, go get it. Tell ha- us how you like it. <laughs> Happy Friday. Thank you guys once again for watching Liquor Run and uh, salute. Salute.